Hello and good day, we are highly welcome for today's tutorial. We have a question under the break-even analysis. Now, taking a look at this question, we can see it's not like the normal questions which we have seen several times, whereby your fixed cost will be given directly or your variable cost, your selling price and so on and so forth. Now, to answer a question of this such, I have written down the steps for us to take. Now, you can see what I have on the board, how to identify the variable cost and how to identify the fixed cost. So I'll advise you to pause this video and copy this out because along the line, we're going to clean it up. Thank you. So, to determine the variable cost, as we can see, it says that the variable cost deals with cost per unit. Now, let's come back to the question we have here. It says the variable cost deals with cost per unit. It simply means that to get our variable cost, we will get our variable cost from this section. All right, this is the unit cost and this is the total cost. So our variable cost will be determined from these values we have here. Now, how do we know the exact figure or the exact value to make use of? Let's continue reading. It says, anything direct is a variable cost. Anything direct is a variable cost. So it simply means we have direct material, this will be a variable cost. We have direct labor, this will be a variable cost, okay? Now, this is variable factory overhead. This is fixed factory overhead and fixed admin and selling expenses. Okay, let us still go back to it. It says, any value given in the question as a variable cost is treated as a variable cost. Any value given in the question as a variable cost is treated as a variable cost. Now, when we come back to this aspect, we can find, we find out that this is the variable factory overhead. So it is given as a variable cost. So this will also be treated as a variable cost. Okay? Now, following these three steps, we are able to identify our variable cost. Now, let us also consider the fixed cost. It says, the fixed cost deals with the total value. Total value, which is to be from this aspect, okay? This is the total cost. So our fixed cost deals with the values we have here. Now, how do we know the particular values which we make use of? It says, anything indirect is a fixed cost. Anything indirect is a fixed cost. Okay, is there anything indirect here? Uh, no, we don't have anything indirect, okay? Now, it says, overhead costs are treated, overhead costs are treated as fixed costs, except the question specifies that it is a variable cost okay wow this is overhead right this is an overhead cost or moreover seeing the word fixed simply identifies that these are fixed costs already right okay so this is a fixed cost there is a fixed cost and because this is an overhead cost and we have a fixed factory overhead it is a fixed cost now there is something a little bit twisted here let us come back to here we have the variable factory overhead and the step we have here says that anything Overhead costs are treated as fixed costs, and this is an overhead cost. So why do we pick it as a variable cost? It is simply because we have this word variable here. Because the variable stands here, so it will be treated as a variable cost. Because from the steps we have here, it says any value given in the question as a variable cost is treated as a variable cost. So if this were not to be here, let's assume we have factory overhead, then it is going to be a fixed cost. But because we have variable factory overhead, so because of this variable here, that is the reason why it is treated as a variable cost. So, to answer this question, the first thing we have to do is to determine our fixed cost, we determine our variable cost, we also know our selling price. Because these are the three major things that the break-even analysis works with. So, let's go. What is our fixed cost? fixed costs okay now with the steps which you have from the board it simply means that the fixed factory overhead will have 12,000 and the fixed admin and selling over expenses is 15,000 so these two values is going to represent our fixed costs so our fixed costs we have what 15,000 plus 12,000 so it is equal to what 27,000 so this simply means that our fixed cost is 27,000. Now, what about our variable cost? Now, let us get our variable cost. Hmm. 
variable cost. Okay, now to get our variable cost, following the same steps we have on the board, it means that the direct material is a variable cost. So what do we have? We have 40 plus, we have direct labor, 4, plus we have fa variable factory overhead, 3. Okay? Now, mind you, we have an additional information here. So before you total everything, you need to go through the questions to know what exactly you are required to do. So, it says variable selling and admin expenses amounted to 20% of sales and the selling price is 100 Naira. Okay, so this is variable selling and admin expenses. So it simply means you have another variable cost here. And how much is it? It says 20% of sales. 20% of sales. So 20% of this sales. Now when we see this word percentage, what does it mean? 100, right? And we told it is 20% of sales and the selling price is 100. So to determine the exact value, what we are going to do is this. We say 20 divided by 100 times... What is the selling price? We have 100 Naira per unit. So times 100. Okay? So 100 cancels 100. We are left with 20. So it simply means that the variable selling and admin expenses is 20 Naira. So coming up to this place, we now have what? Plus 20. So 40 plus 4 is 44. Plus 3 is 47. And plus 20 is 67. So we have what? 67 Naira here. Okay? Now, what is the next thing again we need under the break-even analysis? We need to determine what, what our selling price is, okay? So, selling price. Selling price. Now, what is our selling price? The question told us that the selling price is 100 Naira. So, we have our selling price already. So, our selling price is what? 100 Naira. Now we have identified the three values we need. Remember I told us the fixed price, the fixed cost, the variable cost, and the selling price. So, let us solve this question so now. Now when we read through, the question told us that we should calculate the break-even analysis. Calculate the break-even analysis. Now, each time a question is silent like this, well, it didn't tell us if we are to solve the break-even analysis in the sales value or the unit value, what it simply means that we should solve for both. It says calculate the break-even points. So we'll calculate both for the sales value and the unit price. So let's go. Question number one. So, number one. Break. even points so for this break even point we are going to solve a break even point in naira and the break even point in units so let's go break even points in units now what is the formula the formula is what the fixed cost over contribution so we have fixed cost over contribution okay fixed cost over contribution so it is equal to what is our fixed cost in this question? Our fixed cost is what? 27,000. So we have 27,000 here. All over contribution. What is our contribution? Now, when we go back to this, we can see there is nothing like contribution. It simply means there is a format, there is a formula to derive our contribution. And it is what? The, ver the selling price minus the variable cost. So, what is our selling price? Now, let's get our contribution contribution and the contribution is what the selling price and our selling price is what 100 naira minus the variable cost and what is our variable cost 67 naira so 100 minus 67 is equal to what 33 so it simply means that our contribution in this question is 33 okay so we have 33 we have 33. Do you understand the steps? Contribution is what? The selling price minus the variable cost. So the selling price is 100 and the variable cost is 67. So 100 minus 67 is 33. It means that our contribution is 33. So fixed cost 27 divided by 33. Okay? Now what is the final answer? 
it is equal to 27,000 divided by 33 gives us 818.18. Now, because we will solve for the break even point in units, it means our final answer will end in units. So we have units here. So it is what? 818.18 units. That is for break even points in units. So let us go to 1B. 1B now, we're going to solve for what? The break even point in Naira, okay? And sales value. And what is the formula? The formula is what? The fixed cost divided by the CMR. Now, what is CMR? CMR means the contribution margin ratio. Contribution margin ratio. So it is equal to what is our fixed cost? The fixed cost is 27,000 divided by contribution margin ratio. Now, how do we determine our contribution margin ratio? It is just the same step we did there, but there is a slight difference. Now, the formula for our CMR is what? The selling price per unit minus the variable cost per unit divided by the selling price per unit. So, what is the selling price? The selling price per unit is what? 100 Naira. It's 100 Naira. Subtract. What is our variable cost? Our variable cost is what? 67. We have 67 Naira. So this will be divided by what? The selling price. And what is our selling price? The selling price is 100. So, 100 minus 67 gives us 33 divided by 100. So, what is our contribution margin ratio? Here, we're going to have 0 0.33. Okay? 0 0.33. So, it simply means that 0 0.33 now represents what? Our contribution margin ratio. Just like our contribution when we solved it and we got what? 33. So, 27,000 divided by 0 0.33 because this now stands as a contribution margin ratio. So, it is equal to we have 81,000. Now, because it is the break-even point in Naira, that is the reason why we have this sign, okay? So, 27,000 divided by 0 0.33, it gives us 81,818.18. So, this is our final answer for the question number one, the break-even point. So, we'll solve for the break-even point in the units and the break even point in Naira. So we'll move over to the next question. We'll move over to the next question. And the next question says Assuming the company is desperate, assuming the company is desperate for, of making a profit before tax of 420,000, what will be the Naira sales? Now take a look at this. You can see this question is specific. It says, what will be the Naira sales? What will be the Naira sales? So it simply means we are going to solve for the break-even point in the sales value. So, let's go. Question number two. Break-even point. Remember, it says, desperate a profit before tax. There is a slight difference in the formula now. Now, break-even point in the Naira because it is for a targeted profit, they say they are desperate of making a profit. So we have what? Profit before tax. Profit before tax. Okay? Profit before tax. Now the formula is this. Fixed cost plus the profit before tax. And because it is the break-even point in Naira, it is going to be divided by the CMR. Okay, it's going to be divided by the CMR. Whenever it is the break-even point in units, we we'll make use of contribution. Whenever it is the break-even point in Naira, we we'll make use of what? CMR, which is the contribution margin ratio. So because this is the break-even point in Naira, we we'll use CMR. So what is our fixed cost? We've solved our fixed cost to be what? 27,000 plus the profit before tax, as we have here. And in the question, it says the company is desperate of making a profit before tax of 120,000 Naira. So this value represents the profits before tax. 
So we have 120,000. All divided by the contribution margin ratio. Remember in the first question, we have sold for a CMR and what we got was 0 0.33. So you just pick the value, 0 0.33, okay? Now what is the next thing? 27,000 plus 120,000 gives us 147,000. All will be divided by 0 0.33. Okay, all will be divided by 0 0.33. Now, for 147,000 divided by 0 0.33 is equal to, now remember it is the break even point in Naira. So we have our Naira sign. So when we divide this value, we have 445,454.5. And this is the final answer. Remember, break even point in Naira. On your own, give it a try, solve for the break-even point in unit, and you post the answer below. Thank you. So, the third question says, assuming a tax rate of 35% and a targeted after-tax net profit. Now, there's a difference between the first question and the second question. When we look at the first question, here we have what? After-tax net profit. Okay? Here we have what? Before tax. So take note of that. When it is before tax, it is a different formula. When it is after tax, it is also a different formula. Okay? Now, of 55,000, what will be the sales value again? Now we are solving for the sales value. Okay? So question number three goes this way. Break even points in Naira. And what are we solving for? Profits after tax profit after tax now what is the formula the formula is this ensure that each time you are to solve any question once you write down what you are asked to solve you write down the formula then you show your workings okay now what is the formula here we have a fixed cost a fixed cost plus the profit after tax all over 1 minus tax rates then all all over CMR. Why do we make use of CMR? We're making use of CMR because it is the break even point in Naira. Okay? So let us break it down again. What is our fixed cost? Our fixed cost is 27,000 plus what is our variable um, profit after tax? The profit after tax given in the question is 55,000. Okay? Let us make use of a, a better space. The fixed cost is 27,000 plus the profit after tax. And the profit after tax is 55,000. Okay? Now, this profit after tax will now be divided by 1 minus the tax rate. And what is the tax rate? We're told that the tax rate is what? 35%. Okay? And 35% is what? 0 0.35. 0.35. How did we get that? What we did was this 35 divided by 100. Once you punch your calculator, it gives you 0 0.35. That is exactly what we have here. Okay? So take note of that. Now we'll continue. All over the CMR. And what is that CMR? As we saw in the first question, our CMR is 0 0.33. So we have 0 0.33. So Take the step again. Now, this is equal to, this is 27,000 plus 55,000 all over 1 minus 0 0.35. 1 minus 0 0.35, it gives us what? 0 0.65. 0 0.65. Now, all will be divided by what? 0 0.33. Okay? All will be divided by 0 0.33. Now, what is the next thing we do here? We need to treat this before we proceed. So, what we do is this. We say what? 27,000 plus 55,000 divided by 0 0.65. This gives us 84,615.38. Okay? Now, we have treated this. We have treated this. So, all over... 
0 0.33 okay all over 0 0.33 so what do we have here if we add these two values it gives us 111,615.38 one hundred and eleven thousand six hundred and fifteen point three eight. This will be divided by what? Zero point three three. Okay. So by the time you do the divisions, the final answer, the final answer is what? Because we are solving for the break-even point in Naira. The final answer is three hundred and thirty-eight thousand two hundred and twenty-eight point four two. Okay, so this question, the final answer is for this particular question, the final answer is what? See what we have there: three hundred and thirty-eight thousand two hundred and twenty-eight point four two. So, my good friends, there are different steps, there are different methods of solving questions under the break-even analysis. This is one of them. Watch the first video, the break-even analysis introduction or the lesson one. You will see another different format of solving questions under the break-even analysis. So, if you have questions, leave a comment below. If you like what we're doing, kindly share this video, invite your friends to subscribe to our channels, and enjoy lots of videos we have for you. To have a blessed day, remember, click the subscribe button to have a good day. Goodbye.